Welcome Aries. This is a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Aries, in your weekly goddess and spirit animal reading, you got sacred space and a need to, you know, create a space that's just for you. So here we are, sacred space. Um, and hopefully you can find a place, you know, where you are at home and to be able to um, connect to that inner peace. I'm hearing like to connect to what matters and just to find that moment of stillness. And by having things like a sacred space where we can put perhaps talismans or things that are important to us or goals or intentions, it's really a beautiful way of coming back into alignment and connect connecting to the true essence, who we are, what we wish to create, experience, be, you know, any energies for healing. So let's light some Palo Santo here to really clear the space and then we'll get into your reading. Aries, I'm getting this very beautiful like empress type of energy where it's like you've been through this difficult time or you've felt, you know, it's like and there's this inner strength and like this expansive opportunity to be able to create now through all that you've been through, through all that you know. And it really is no surprise that sacred space came up in your reading this week because with sacred space, it just allows us to really, you know, connect to what we would like to create to gain real clarity. Okay, Aries, let us get into your reading. Whoops. Guys, you can find the crystals in the store. This is a beautiful clear crystal quartz um, palm stone. It's engraved with the gold, bless, bless, and clear crystal quartz is for focus, intention, and amplifying energy as well. It's just great because you can hold it. Um, this is Mr. Boo, our flower agate. <laughs> He's just so adorable. Um, totally in love with him. And then we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous ones. Um, crystal rose quartz hand carved stones as well and these are amazing too because you can hold them and also you know lay down and place it on your heart or anywhere really like rose quartz is the must-have and this beauty is also in the store it's a clear crystal quartz charging plate with a hand carved rose quartz bird it's just so gorgeous you can place your jewelry on here and the light's not listed, guys, but I will include the lighting. I, I do that. I'll send, like, surprises whenever whenever I send out um, crystals. Let's get started with your reading. Now that we've got our sacred space here. Ooh, look at that energy there. The moon, and that was sort of this feeling where it was like seeing through the mystery or even connecting with the mystery to even, you know, build further to really delve into what is the dream you know this can sometimes be a card of illusion and just wanting to see through to the truth and sometimes we need to go into the depths of the soil to do so which is why i think sacred space was really important for you four of wands reverse it feels like you're wanting to take action aries towards something new this can, yeah, yeah, you're definitely creating, like, this is new relationship, new endeavor, new dream, right? The Ace of Pentacles means success. It's a new beginning and one that is grounded. So that's why I think this whole, like, sacred space and delving into perhaps the mystery of it all, connecting to your inner peace is just really helping to ground these energies. It's like you're working with all of the elements here. We can even see, like, the crystals with the Ace of Pentacles, right? It's like you, you're sort of taking time to dream about all areas of life and how you would like to align your your goals, your intentions here. Seven of Swords. Oh, I felt that before I even turned the card over, guys. I was like, oh. Yeah, this caused a lot of heartache. You know, this was, um, you know, an energy that was, ow, <laughs> the heart chakra, right? The heart chakra needs healing. Absolutely. 
the seven of swords is a sneaky energy um one that it was it could be betrayal or it was like something that you, it's like you felt something but you couldn't really see exactly what that was and i think that you know as well with the moon that sort of creates this illusion you know but you still it's like you sense that something wasn't quite right yeah Yeah, I mean, I, it feels like really, this is almost like you're being left out in the cold or somebody, it's, it's like, it feels like a sense like your energy was being taken or your heart wasn't being nourished or, or listened to in this situation is what I would say. And guys, this can be in a love situation. It could be, you know, um, work or something, you know, in family, what's happening in the world even, right? It just feels like where you're aware that there's something that's not quite what it seems. You're aware that there's something that feels like it's sort of taking from you in a way, like behind the scenes, okay? So let's get some clarity on this. Ooh, the temperance. Amazing balance being restored and also you know a card of truth so this situation is being healed amazing i love that you know it's like because of your strength because of your mindfulness even aries it's like you've been able to refine this balance and forgiveness i'm hearing as well and trusting in just what you know in the skills that you have like she's really creating this alchemy here just because it's it's like you know here is the temperance card sort of like the angel of balance but it's like she's not looking up a book how do I do this and it's just like there's this trust about how it feels and and what she knows and I think in a way it's like this is what you have done to heal from this situation that's allowing you to really just create your new beginning here to get clarity on what that is right the nine of pentacles reverse you know, there's definitely been a sense where there was loss from this situation. And you're recognizing that. You're recognizing that there was a loss. Queen of Cups reverse. You know, this brought about... This was, you know, unhappiness because of this. You know, you don't really deal with a Seven of Swords situation and then go, Oh, wow, I feel great. Can you guys see that? Wow, I feel great. Everything's fine. No, it takes a while to heal from this energy. It takes a while to regain a balance of emotions, to regain how do you feel now? You know, what is the plan moving forward, right? So it's absolutely normal to be feeling the effects of this. You know, this is the alchemy that you're going to be creating is this utmost energy healing. The next step through this process, Aries. Wow. Amazing. Four of Pentacles. Wow. There's a sense of wanting to hold on to something. Um, I'm sort of feeling like it's a vision or it's how things should have been. Perhaps this was a friendship with the Three of Cups in reverse or an idea of how that should have gone. And But it's only making you feel strong, um, not strong and disappointed. Okay, it's like by, by continuing to hold on and not accept change or to not go through healing or to not, you know, it, it's only bringing about this feeling of defeat. And I think that you've realized this, right? It's like, it's making you realize that, you know, there is this situation where it's like this letting go process to move forward to the new. Because there were quarrels or there was, you know, something that it seemed like it wasn't allowing you to stand in your strength here. It really does feel like spirit's showing you, yes, this is an ending and time for a new beginning to be excited about the new beginning. For some reason, I'm literally seeing this character. It's like, and this can be even clearing space, guys. Like, letting go of things so that you can, you know, reach out your arms and receive that which the universe is going to be gifting you now. 
you know, because otherwise here the energy stays stagnant. It's like holding on to these pentacles that you just think, you know, that's the only thing. But if she was to just, you know, let go of this, extend her arms, it's like the, the energy could move again. And then, you know, she would be granted with, you know, perhaps like the apples from the tree and then the universe delivers these magical crystals and she can walk freely. It's like there's all of this opportunity that's wanting to come in. But for some reason, there's this sort of feeling of wanting to hold on to something, which is just bringing about a sense of not recognizing how amazing you are and I think that this well sorry guys I'm going to reshuffle that that this is why spirit's calling for sacred space to say it's okay like we're not forcing you to let go of this but maybe there's something else here like maybe what can we how can we heal from this situation justice gorgeous it's like everything's going to be turning out in your favor and i think there's been a lot of patience here this is you know again we're seeing double card of harmony it's like there's equality restored harmony restored there's definitely balance coming in aries if you're not feeling that already for some of you you've already been through this stuff and you're not even needing to you know it might just be this emotional like you know like you cry or you you, you know you, you have this spark of inspiration or there's this sense of you know this loss like letting go situation some of you are just like you know screaming at your pillow like it's it's that sort of energy work but it's allowing you to stand strong and even if the you know it's like rocky here right look how strong you are and I'm hearing spirit is really on your side. Spirit is right by your side. You know, this is fairness and equality and things becoming right again. Allowing you to feel strong and in your power. Page of Cups. There's definitely this sweetness that's returning, you know, like this ability to be able to just connect to what is your dream. And that's really the overall message of this Aries. Like this is your sacred space, right? She's created this bowl. She's sort of connecting to this light and saying, what is it that it is important to me. What brings me my peace? When I look into this bowl and, you know, it's like when you're a kid and you like look in the sky and you see clouds and it's like all those things that you enjoy doing, it's reconnecting to that beautiful self, that, that, that dream, that truth of who you are, that love, that light. And so even though all of this was not an easy journey, you have been victorious and here you stand strong, being able to really just connect and, and to give to yourself. Like this is really it, guys. This was really the message for the week as well. Like this need to just love on yourself, like nurture yourself, do things that are, are caring. It's like, you know, for your inner child to really just say, hey, Hey, little one, <laughs> you know, really, what can we do? Like, do, do things that are fun for you. It's going to, um, it's going to be beautiful. It's like your soul, soul is calling for you to, to treat it with some TLC. Yeah. The nine of swords, you know, feelings can be, you know, that sense of feeling like the world is sort of against you in a way it can be feeling like you're in isolation and that thing life is cruel and you're stuck in your mind and why is this happening and goodness knows we've all been through this more than once and you're right it is unfair and it is painful but as part of the journey of life, we go through this and we learn all of these skills and we, you know, once again connect to that inner light. We once again stand up tall. And it's always about standing again or finding that inner light again. That you are victorious. You are coming out of this place with the chariot card. And also, guys, I want to say... Um, when when we connect to sacred space, sometimes we, you know, see petals where we're like, well... That pedal is um, not really serving me, you know. Sometimes we see things that take us to this Nine of Swords sort of energy and that are sort of difficult and we're just like, you know. But it's like even through the light, as you connect to the light, even if you move through the darkness or you release those thoughts, there's still hope. 
you still move forward, you still regain that path and that clear vision. These are all cards of utmost energy healing, like major alchemy going on here, Aries. It's like you go, it's like you're so fearless. Suddenly you're not afraid to look at the shadows. Suddenly you're not afraid to look to the clouds. It's like you're just, you go forward and you always turn out victor victorious. You always regain your balance, your strength and your ability to move forward. get one more card here from spirit a word of advice for Aries yeah definitely you know a feeling of perhaps isolation and I'm here I am just hearing like it's like for some some of you you just feel like no one understands and I get that you know, and, and it's this, you know, this moving of energy and knowing that sometimes even when we are, you know, alone in the sacred space, that somehow the light will find its way to us. Not all is lost, right? They have each other. And there's five pentacles here. So even though, you know, the surroundings may not be ideal, there is still hope. And this was a sort of, sometimes like going into sacred space or going into energy healing is sort of lonely, right Aries? And you know this, but you're the warrior, like you, you're always going to be, you know, victorious. You're always going to regain your balance and harmony. Not only do you regain it, you just, you just go forward and you show how it's done. You make this look good. Let's draw you an angel card. messenger of action something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention you feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going like right away on the chariot it says that although you may feel insecure do it anyway this card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative enthusiastic and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything do you see how it's all about your inner light, Aries? It's constantly, like in all of these cards and visions, we're just always seeing you connected with your inner light. That's been such a message during this Lionsgate portal of just, you know, getting your light from the source, connecting to your inner light. Let's draw you an angel card, darlings. Oh, that should not have been in this deck. I have no idea. <laughs> How it got in there, but someone thinks you're like an angel, so bless. That is so... I have no idea how that got in there. Oh my gosh. Spirit! Let's see. Oh, unicorn, gorgeous. Definitely a card of healing, purification, and of higher vision. Yeah, a lot of you are really, you know with such courage just connecting to this you know spiritual higher self this wisdom this just you're just you're just like the chariot you're just going forward you know with such a like warrior angelic presence as well always about connecting to that higher light the inner peace and the truth is the divinity of who you are hmm and for some reason, seeing like a rowboat, which is so, I have no idea who that is for. Like row, rowing. <laughs> Bless you, sweethearts. And now I'm hearing somebody saying, eat, drink, and be merry. And that's really what it's about, right? Enjoying life, enjoying yourself, but always remembering the truth of who you are. And even if there was any of these situations of, you know, you know, anything that went on here in the past, there's always your inner light that's guiding you through. And you will always be victorious. Look at this. Always. So strong. Beautiful. Sending you all the love and light, Aries. I hope this reading helped in some way. Check the subscribe to join me here next time. And, of course, remember to check out the crystal store. These beauties are also in there. There are... Um, Aura Quartz, I think it's this one that's listed, it's um, Aura Clear Quartz, double terminated, which means it's got 
points on both sides, which means it emits the frequency, the energy, the crystal healing from both directions. So really beautiful for crystal grids or, you know, placing in your, in, um, you know, as a talisman. Bless you, Aries. Lots of love. I look forward to see you, darling, soon. Ciao for now.